شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك each year, nearly 3 million pilgrims from around the world travel to the holy city of Mecca, Saudi Arabia for the annual Hajj pilgrimage. Hajj is one of the pillars of Islam, hence it is compulsory for the Muslims who are physically and financially able to must perform Hajj at least once in their lifetime. The Kaaba, meaning the cube, also known as Baytul Haram, meaning the sacred house, is a cuboid shaped building in Mecca. It is the most sacred site in Islam and the focal point during the Hajj pilgrimage. It is also called the Qibla, meaning the direction faced by the Muslims from all around the world while offering their daily prayers and symbolizes unity in worshipping one almighty God. The history of Kaaba goes back to the Prophet Ibrahim peace be upon him who reconstructed this structure along with his son Ismail peace be upon him. The Holy Quran mentions that this was the first house that was built for humanity to worship one Almighty God. Allah Almighty says in the Quran, Indeed, the first house of worship established for mankind was that at Mecca, blessed and a guidance for the worlds. Once the structure of Kaaba was built, Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, was commanded by Almighty God, Allah, that he should now go and proclaim the pilgrimage to mankind, so that men and women may come from lands far away on camel and on foot. Allah Almighty says in the Quran, and proclaim to mankind the Hajj. They will come to you on foot and on every lean camel. They will come from every deep and distant mountain highway to perform Hajj. Since ages, people have been traveling every year to this sacred land of Mecca in order to perform the rituals of Hajj spread over five days of Dhul Hijjah, the twelfth month of the Islamic calendar. The sound of this chant said in Arabic echoes over the land as the pilgrims begin arriving in Mecca by the thousands for the sacred rites. Here I am, O God, at your command. Here I am at your command. You are without associate. Here I am at your command. To you are all praise, grace and dominion. You are without associate. To manage the sight of mankind's greatest religious gathering is not an easy task. For the officials, 
it is an organizational challenge like none other. The Hajj is a test physically for any pilgrim, yet it has not only survived for centuries, it has flourished. The Mecca, once for thousands, today the city caters to millions. During the Hajj, Mecca will become the most crowded place on earth. These numbers present a huge logistical challenge for the organizers. Jeddah Airport, Hajj Terminal is the world's fourth largest air terminal. Its sole purpose is to cater the millions of pilgrims who come from various countries. Mecca lies in the region of Hijaz, Western Saudi Arabia. It's the starting point for every Hajj. Over the next five days, pilgrims will complete a series of prayers and rituals along the Valley of Mina. And then they will gather at the plain of Arafat before a symbolic rejection of devil at Jamarat and circumambulate the holy Kaaba. Ihram is the dress that all the pilgrims wear. They are two white unseven sheets and are universal in appearance. Ihram also contributes to a feeling of unity that pilgrims have when they are in the city of Mecca. They are all brothers and sisters joined to worship one God. Ihram is also a state a pilgrim is in during the Hajj. While they are in this state, pilgrims are not allowed to hunt or kill any living thing participate in sexual intercourse, cut hair or nails, or wear makeup or perfume. Inside the Kaaba, the floor is made of marble and limestone. The interior walls are clad with marble halfway to the roof. The marble is insert with Quranic inscriptions. The top part of the walls are covered with a green cloth embroidered with gold Quranic verses. Caretakers anoint the marble cladding with scented oil. Three pillars stand inside the Kaaba to support the roof. An enclosed staircase leads to the roof. The black cloth that covers the Kaaba outside is called Kiswa. The embroidery contains 15 kg of pure gold threads. It consists of 47 pieces of cloth and each piece is 14 meter long and 101 centimeter wide. The Kiswa is wrapped around the Kaaba and fixed to the ground with copper rings. Tawaf. The Hajj begins with a verbal pronunciation of the intention to perform the pilgrimage followed by Tawaf, that is, the circumambulation of the Kaaba, seven times in counterclockwise direction. This circling is to demonstrate the unity of the believers in the worship of one Almighty God as they move in harmony together around the Kaaba while supplicating to Allah Almighty. Hajr Aswad The circumambulating of Kaaba begins from the Hajr Aswad. Hajr Aswad meaning the black stone is on the eastern cornerstone of the Kaaba. If possible, Muslims are to kiss or touch it, but this is often not possible because of the large crowds. 
so it is acceptable for them to simply point or hold up their hand to the stone on each circuit. According to a saying of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, the black stone descended from paradise whiter than milk, but the sins of the sons of Adam made it black. Islam strictly prohibits idolatry. Muslims believe that the stone's role in Hajj is simply representative and symbolic in nature, not related to belief in the stone itself as having any special power. When the second Caliph Umar ibn al-Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, came to kiss the stone, he said, in front of all assembled no doubt i know that you are a stone and can neither harm anyone nor benefit anyone had i not seen allah's messenger muhammad peace be upon him kissing you i would never kissed you most muslims follow the example of caliph umar they pay their respect to the stone in a spirit of trust in Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him not with any inherent belief in the stone. Maqam Ibrahim The Maqam Ibrahim meaning Abraham's place of standing is a rock kept in a crystal dome next to the Kaaba. The footprint in it is believed to have been made by Abraham when he was lifting stone blocks to build the Kaaba. The Zamzam is a well located within Masjid al Haram, 20 meters east of the Kaaba. Islamic history states that the Zamzam well was revealed to Hajra, may Allah be pleased with her, the second wife of Prophet Ibrahim peace be upon him and the mother of Prophet Ismail when she was desperately seeking water for her infant son but she could not find any as Makkah is located in a hot dry valley with few sources of water she ran seven times back and forth in the scorching heat between the two hills of Safa and Marwa looking for water. Getting thirstier by the second, Prophet Ismail as an infant scraped the land with his feet where suddenly water sprang out. Sally the ritual walking is the back and forth movement between the hills of Safa and Marwa in Mecca. It is an integral part of the Hajj pilgrimage symbolizing the search of water by Hajra, may Allah be pleased with her, in order to give her son Ismail. Allah Almighty mentions in the Quran, إن الصفا والمروة من شعائر الله فمن حج البيت أو اعتمر فلا جناح عليه أن يطوف بهما ومن تطوع خيرا فإن الله شاكر عليم Indeed, As-Safa and Al-Marwa are among the symbols of Allah. So whoever makes Hajj to the house or performs Umrah, there is no blame upon him for walking between them. And whoever volunteers good, then indeed Allah is appreciative and knowing. Mina On the first official day of the pilgrimage, the millions of pilgrims that have now gathered travel from Mecca to Mina, a small village east of the city. There they spend the day and night 
in enormous tent cities praying reading the Quran and resting for the next day Mina also known as the tent city is a neighborhood in Mecca it covers an area of approximately 20 kilometers there are more than 100,000 air-conditioned tents which provide temporary accommodation to visiting pilgrims. The Teflon coated tents can withstand a temperature of up to 700 degrees Celsius. There they spend the day and night in enormous tent cities, Arafat. On the second day of the pilgrimage, the pilgrims leave Mina just after the dawn to travel to the plain of Arafat for the culminating experience of the Hajj. Mount Arafat is a 70 meter in height granite hill to east of Mecca. It is also known as the Mount of Mercy. The hill is the place where the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him had delivered the farewell sermon to the Muslims who had accompanied him for the Hajj towards the end of his life. A main reason of this ritual of pilgrimage is the renewal of the prayer of repentance every year. Standing on the hill of mercy, the climax of Hajj, the pilgrims will spend the whole day on Arafat supplicating to Allah to forgive their sins and praying for personal strength in the future. Tears are shed readily as those who gather make repentance and seek God's mercy, recite words of prayers and remembrance and gather together as equals before their Lord. Muslims around the world who are not at the pilgrimage join them in spirit by fasting for the day of Arafat. Muslim pilgrims visit Muzdalifa in the evening. At Muzdalifa, they collect pebbles which will be thrown in the stone of the devil ritual in Mina during the next four days. Jamarat. On the third day, the pilgrims move before sunrise, this time back to Mina. In the valley of Mina is the Jamarat Bridge, the location of the stoning of the devil ritual and performed between sunrise and sunset on the last day of the Hajj. Here they throw the stone pebbles at pillars that represent the temptations of Satan. When throwing the stones, the pilgrims recall the story of Satan's attempt to dissuade Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, from following God's command to sacrifice his own son. The stones represent Abraham's rejection of Satan and the firmness of his faith. After casting the pebbles, most pilgrims shave their heads and then slaughter an animal, often a sheep or a goat, and give away the meat to the poor. This is a symbolic act that shows their willingness to part with something that is precious to them. Just as the Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, was prepared to sacrifice his son at God's command. Throughout the world, Muslims celebrate Eid al Adha, the festival of sacrifice on this day. This is the second of the two major festivals in Islam each year. At the end, the pilgrims then return to Mecca and perform Tawafi Wada. 
that is favorable seven circles turns around the Kaaba. The renewal of Hajj. The reward of performing this great journey of Hajj was mentioned by Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him that whoever performs Hajj to the house of Allah and does not approach his wife for sexual relations nor commits sins while performing Hajj he will come out as sinless as a newborn child. Hajj is indeed a powerful means of purification and empowerment in our lives. Let us make an intention to perform Hajj if we are physically and financially able to. May you all have a blessed read.